morning. It's the 1st of Feb, 7 o'clock in the morning. This is Dorchester, that's the Premier Inn. There's Costa, that's the city next. And here is the snow. That's the railway station. Right, I'm going that way to find my car. I've got a ticket on it for the parking. It's a snowy spoons. So it's now quarter past nine, so that's one hour forty-five until we kick off, so that's two pints maybe. This is London Pale Ale from Enfield. E-N-E-F-E-L-D. 5% alcohol by volume. I've had a little try. It's good. And it's wonderfully lemony. It's basically all lemony. Maybe a bit citrusy as well. Very similar sorts of taste. B plus in a bit. It's a good start. Just a little sort of fed. So getting close now. So half. This is Ruby Jane, a Ruby Mild. Mild February, Northern Wood, from the Elkley Brewery, 4% alcohol by volume. Mm, that's pleasant. I'm not sure it does uh, my nose and stuff. But it's malty, slightly bitter, very pleasant, Be less in a bit. Real wood flooring, Mr. Manning. And number one, as I promised yesterday, this is number 14. Saxon Gold from Cop Street Brewing. This is for the Premier Inn. 4.7% alcohol by volume. That is very nice. Citrus, dry. Yes. So, number two, also from Copper Street Brewery, Dark Ages, and it says, and I quote, although it's number 13, and lucky for some, a robust porter with complex malt base accompanied by subtle chocolate and vanilla overtures. Ooh, um, yes. Yep, certainly you can taste the chocolate and the vanilla. <laughs> Weighs in at 5.5% alcohol. No, just plus a bit. Again. There's food, rolls, and this is Make IPA Bitter Again. I don't know where they got that from. Um, from Blue Shack, from Dorset. 5.5% alcohol by volume. Mostly pickle in there. Mmm. Ooh. Nicely bitter, very hoppy, fruity, a bit tropical. Be plus in a bit. Cut Harlequin, Sir Abbas, made with the new Harlequin hot from Charles Farnham. An imperial pale ale brewed with imperial mashes. 5.2% alcohol by volume. Oops, I'm going. No, 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 Spicy. Sweet malt and Another big plus in a bit. Okay, we're into murkiness and silly names. This is from Drop the Anchor. 4.7% alcohol by volume. Murky as murky things can be murky. This is Tectonia Pale Ale. 4.7% alcohol. 
Fruity Pale Ale has amazing aromas and flavour, bags of personality, I don't know what that means, and bold tropical fruits including melon, grapefruit and pineapple. Happy. No, it's just so rubbish. Yep. Very tropical. Sharp. Bitter. B plus in a bit. This is from Eight Arch. They're one of my favourite Dorset brewers. This is Corbell and it says Full of Mosaic and a simple malt base. Beer X Beer of 2018. Okay, does it last into 2019? Here's my hand. People at the top clean it off. Yeah. That's a shame. Because it doesn't. Oh, yeah. B. Very, very, very good. And the last one for today. Number 26. From a brewery called Fine Tune. This is hop culture. And it says Citra and Amarillo. Oh wow. 5% alcohol by volume. Looks nice. My nose still isn't working. Yeah. Examining this whole problem. Oh, that's nice. A little bit spicy. B plus in a bit. Hoppy, bitter, spicy. 